is Anthony from the Solo Shed once more. And if you have been watching my YouTube videos, um, you know that I have two solar charge controllers. Um, the first charge controller you're looking at right there is my 24 volt solar charge controller, uh, which comes from my 24 volt PV panels. And from there, um, it's going into a DC converter, a step down DC converter. And what this does, it steps the voltage down from 24 volts to 12 volts so I can actually charge my 12 volt batteries as well as use like a USB connection, USB car adapter to charge my phone and so forth. Because this 24 volt solar charge controller, it goes to my 24 volt battery bank. And then um, via this um, DC converter which steps down the voltage this goes to my 12 volt battery bank so I have two systems in my shed and um, the 24 volt system actually supplies power to my 24 um, volt inverter in my shed so what I'm attempting to do right now traditionally I, I have the DC converter connected to the load um, output of my 24 volt charge controller and um, from there it goes into my secondary range of 12 volt um, charge controller but now what I'm going to do now is actually connect my DC converter directly to my solar panels yes I want to try that and see what I get because um, what I would want or what I really want is that whenever the Sun is not shining then I don't want any power going to my secondary solar charge controller because this secondary charge controller is only used to charge my batteries. That's that's its only purpose. So when the sun is not shining, I don't want any power going to my secondary charge controller. Whereas before, I was always getting power going to my secondary charge controller because I'm coming from my primary charge controller which also connects to my 24 volt batteries. So um, this is my solar disconnect switch right here. So what I'm going to do right now is actually go directly from my solar disconnect switch to my DC converter, which will of course take my 24 volts coming in DC and convert it to 12 volts to use my, with my 12 volt batteries. So I'm going to do the wiring, the wiring right now and we'll take a look at that. Okay guys, this will be a proof of concept. So therefore, if there's any spark, you'll be the first to see it. I just have some rough wiring right now because all I'm doing is um, connecting my secondary charge controller directly to my solar panels. So now I have two charge controllers going directly to my solar panels. So <laughs> I'm going to turn on my um, solar power right now and <laughs> I'm a little curious to see what's going to happen. Am I going to blow up? Um, my DC converter, well, if it does happen, you'll be the first to see see it, okay? Because I know that um, sometimes with the solar input, that the voltage can go pretty high, about 30 volts. And um, um, this DC converter is rated to handle 30 volts, but we'll find out. So here goes the big switch. I'm going to turn on my solar input power right now youtube so here we go you'll be the first to see what happens if this converter can actually handle the power coming from my solar panels it says 31 volts 40 volts right now coming in 26 volts coming in right now 26 volts coming in so 26.4 volts coming in so let's see what happens it's still working right now so I have two charge controllers connected to my solar panels. The first one you're looking at right there, as, as you can see the battery lamp right there is fully, um, it's full or it's charging and the batteries are good and that's going to my 24 volt system and um, if you look down here, this secondary charge controller is actually going into my 12 volt battery which is my lawnmower's battery right down there so that battery is currently being charged from this secondary um, charge controller which is my 12 volt system 
and um, this the first controller charge controller is actually going to my 24 volt battery bank which is over there in the little box right there anyway I did make a promise to a you a YouTube viewer that I would show him inside of my um, inverter and I happen to have a screwdriver right now in my shed so I'm gonna open the inverter so I can make sure that viewer is happy <laughs> so let me open my inverter right now uh, I'll be right back. I'm going to open the inverter, then I'll come right back. All right, Antonio, by special request, you can see um, right now into my inverter. And I uh, just want to demonstrate this to you. As you can see, that the input coming from my inverter right here is connected via this cigarette adapter. And the cigarette adapter is connected to the input, um, the wires rather, where the battery or the internal battery batteries for this APC UPS um, is actually connected. So.